Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, shit is gonna get real this episode. I wanted to check in with our buddy Walter, Master of the League, just to see if he has any additional dialogue because it does change up from time to time. Ah, very good. You've crushed some vermin. <laughs> I'm the Master of the League, I can see it in your eyes. I'm pleased. This makes you a true fellow of the League. A confederate. Now, take this stuff. A symbol of our oath. Of our blood-drenched fate. And we get the League staff. And also the League oath gesture. You'll be welcomed as a true confederate. Go forth with renewed vigor. In short time, you will see. Our mission takes hold of one's spirits. We got a vermin for defeating uh, Martyr Logarius in Canehurst, and I crushed it. So uh, his dialogue is updated because he's like, oh, you know, you're actually doing your mission now. Um, the League staff is very similar to the Vile Blood Register. It just, it's a directory of uh, who's doing the best, but it's hidden in a little staff, which is kind of fun. Um, the League staff is a sign of a confederate. A directory within the hilt lists the names of fellow confederates. Members of the League brandish the staff to indicate themselves to fellow members of the League. There shall be no sympathy... There shall be no sympathy for those engaged in the bloody mission of the League, no matter that an oath must be taken to uphold the illusion. So we also get uh, the League Oath. And you'll notice we have our left hand down by our side. This pose will change. So right now we're just kind of like an initiate. But if we come back to this area after leaving and coming back, which I'm gonna do and jump to here real quick. So we've just reloaded the Forbidden Woods and come back to this lamp. And if we come in here... Oh, I thought you might have moved on. You'll be welcomed as a true confederate. Go forth with renewed vigor. In short time, you will see. Mission takes hold of one's spirits. Hmm. I've only uh, encountered the DLC content, and this is DLC content, the old hunters, um, after completing the game. So I'm wondering if what we're about to do, because um, we're headed back to Bergenworth after this, I just wanted to see if I could progress the uh, League kind of quest line a little bit before we jump into the real meat of the game, because shit's a, it's just truly about to get real. Um, so yeah, we'll check back, uh, because once we deal with what's lurking in Bergenworth, the world around us is going to change quite dramatically. Um, people are going to start acting different, and we're going to figure a lot of stuff out, and a whole load of new questions are going to arise, so... Mr. Crow, if you could chill that- chill. Chill, that'd be great. Um, so with that, uh, I will catch you guys at Bergenworth where we last were. And I will have uh, the younger Madaris twin with me, and I'm gonna try and summon Henrik too. That way we have two old hunters helping us. Hey, I'm here with the younger Madaris twin, and I'm about to summon Henrik. And um, there's no real reason that I'm summoning both then, other than just to kind of show both the old hunters that you can get in this area if you, you can only get Henrik if you um, help Eileen. But you notice they're doing the Confederate pose as well when they pop in and they both have Confederate uh, on top of their name. And Henrik also has the distinction of old hunter. Um, ooh, you guys are following every move I make. So we're going to head out, and I uh, just want you to remember that little note that we saw in the room before we hit the Uden Chapel that said, um, the Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our master from us. That master that they're referring to is undoubtedly um, Provost William, or Willem, that we actually killed for his eye rune. And just a refresher on that, he dropped this bad boy, and... Uh, 
The eyes symbolize the truth Master Willem sought in his research. Disillusioned by the limits of human in intellect, Master Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to line his brains with eyes in order to elevate his thoughts. The person in the note, we don't know who left the note in that uh, area before the Uden Chapel, but they also said um, it makes their head shudder uncontrollably. And uh, we haven't run into a spider yet in Bergenworth. And Master Willem has been gesturing at the lake, but I don't know. I don't see anything out there. And uh, before we killed him, he was here on a rocking chair, and he was just sort of gesturing out towards the lake and being like, uh -huh, and pointing towards the lake. But it doesn't really seem like there's anything out here. I also want to refresh a memory on this and also start linking some things together. Um, any of the lake runes should do it. Um, great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep and an auger of the eldritch truth. Um, to put this in simpler terms, great volumes of water serve as a protector of sleep or a guard of sleep, um, a defender of sleep, and an auger of the eldritch truth, a clue or sort of um, an implication or um, it's a sign rather of the eldritch truth. So great volumes of water protect sleep and act as a sort of symbol um, of the eldritch truth or an indicator rather, that's a better word, an indicator of the eldritch truth. So um, here we have a very great body of water. It appears to be a great lake. Um, and as far as we know, we can't really see anything out here, but if we take a plunge, we make it to the Moonside Lake and we have something very interesting in front of us. It sort of just extends forever, it seems. Very interesting. Over here, non-hostile for now. I just want you to see all these eyeballs twitching and moving around. Lumescent flowers and ooh, our spider legs, huh? And this weird sarlacc pit of a mouth. This is the Bergenworth spider and it's non-hostile until you decide to fuck with it. And then we get Rom, the vacuous spider, and all her little babies. And yes, it's a her. And yes, Rom is a great one. Um, I'm hoping our friends Henrik... Yeah, there we go. Welcome to the jam. Come on and slam. Help me with these fucking spiders. Um, this is actually a, a fight that I don't really like a whole lot. Come on, Henrik. Get the let out, son. Um... It's actually a fairly easy fight, but it can turn very quickly. The spiders are the worst part of the fight. And you can see they're kind of like baby roms. They have these tiny little faces. Woo! And they like to fuck with you. Um, their heads are pretty impenetrable, but their bodies are soft. So you see I did, I took them out in one hit there. Um, it's actually not a bad idea to take these spiders out. They do respawn. But uh, it seems Henrik and the younger Madara twin, that's the, ma the main reason why I kind of brought them with me is so they could clear these spiders out. And now there's Rom, who not too much of a threat at the moment in phase one here. And it looks like we're stun locking her. She should transport, but it looks like we're stun locking her out of her uh, animation. Oh, there she goes. You can actually stun her out of that animation, and now we're looking around for her. Sorry for the dizzy camera. There we go. And now Rom is going to start introducing some magic. Where are you guys? There you are. Just want to make sure I have my crew with me. Yeah, here we go. She's gonna rain down some meteorites. These can be very dangerous. I wasn't ready for it. Um, 
You can run to the side and sort of avoid them. It's not the only trick she has up her sleeve. Ooh! Oh my god! Yeah, that's why... <sighs> that's why I really don't like the baby spiders in this fight. Um, because you can see just one hit, instant KO. Um, their legs are very sharp and it's just lights out at certain levels do a lot of damage. Anyway, um, I'll get my summons back and be back at the fog gate for you guys. Did not expect to die, but, uh, eh. Rom was the first boss I had trouble with in my first playthrough, so fitting, I suppose. Hey everyone, we're back, and we're here at the fog. Um, now that I have aggroed uh, Rom. She will be hostile as soon as I enter the arena, so can't get a close-up of her again. Um, the boys are ready, and so am I. Let's get to it. Whoosh. Into the lake. Get my echoes back. Wait for the boys to show up. Today, preferably. I don't want to get in there without backup. Are they really not gonna... There you go, okay. Um, also something that I'm thinking of is Jura mentioned that the monsters don't help those, uh, don't harm those above, and we fell from above, so... Where are we right now is the question. Are there layers of existence stacked on top of each other? Good question. Come here, you little sucker. Uh, the Madara's twin actually has a really good weapon for clearing out these spiders. A sweeping weapon of sorts. Bye, friend, um, and... Oh, I don't have it equipped. And... No, don't you run, you son of a bitch. Ah, I was hoping we could stun lock her again. Oh well. Oh yeah, the Madara's Twin has a funky little blood tinge sort of effect. Okay, and then... Meteors. Looks like it went for them this time. As long as you stay... Mm. Yep, those are coming for me. Um, that's a ranged attack, so as long as you're fairly close to Rom, she shouldn't do it. Emphasis on shouldn't, but that doesn't mean she'll listen. I'm gonna wait for them to clear out the spiders, because this is where shit went south last time. And... Don't die, Henrik. I need you. Yeah. I wanna keep an eye on those. Ah, oh, the Madara's twin is gone. Awful. Don't you quit on me, Henrik. It says this spider doesn't know who to attack. It's like, oh, that guy's behind me, and this one's in front of me. Okay, that's an AoE attack. And... Oh, I'm going for Henrik. Wow. I guess because he's closest. You stop that. You nasty. Woo! Triple kill. Stop. All right, you're next. Nope. Don't you fucking do it. Yep. AOE attack. Oh, you suck, Rom. 
This is probably my least favorite fight in the game. If full disclosure. Oh, hi. You're really close this time. What are you going to do? Alright. That's a close one. A ring of roids. Asteroids, that is. Ooh. Don't you hit me, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, there goes Henrik. Another AoE. Alright. Now I actually have to fight, I guess. Bad. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <sighs> I really hate Rom. Um, Rom was actually the boss that kind of broke me <laughs> when I was uh, first playing this game. It's not a difficult fight. There's just a lot you have to be looking at all the time. And if you fuck it up, like I did just there, I got a little sloppy and uh, <sighs> got knocked out by an asteroid. Anyway, you guys back at the fog gate. Something that really sucks about this is that if you drop your echoes in here, it's really fucking difficult to find them again. I don't see them from here. And this area is like infinitely large. Oh, they're right there. Awesome. Okay. Alright, you guys ready? You handle the spiders, I'll handle Rom. Or I'll try to get close to her, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. Really? Oh my god, no! Fuck you, Rom. Just fuck you. There are no words for this shit. Uh, wearing the Tomb Prospector's garb because it has a little bit more arcane defense and that's what those asteroids are, so... Blah. Oh, and my echoes are right here. God bless. Fucking baby-ass spiders giving me shit. Like, if it weren't for them, you could just get in there and beat the shit out of Rom. But of course, I suppose that's the point. Yeah, you guys crowd around the front, in front of your mom. And then we're gonna beat the shit out of you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Are you fucking... Together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. You're mine now, you son of a bitch. Ugh, so we can stun her out of it. There you are. Over here. You gonna do your fucking asteroids, huh? Huh? You gonna do your asteroid shit? Yep. Who's it coming for? Not me. You guys better fucking survive that. this time. Everybody's alive. Everybody's happy. Everybody's healthy. Okay. You and me, asshole. Don't you fucking... No! Okay. Piece of shit. 
Where are you at now? There you are. Asshole. Fucking spider. Uh, the bird of worth hides all manner of ritual. What are you hiding? Oh, that was somebody. Younger Madara's twin, yep. Tends to be the first one to eat shit. Oh, God! Ooh. Oh, somebody dropped something over here. Madman's knowledge, that's appropriate. I wonder if that was uh, the Madara's twin. Got touched by a great one. Quite aggressively, in fact. Ooh, is that coming for me? Who's that? No, that was an AoE. Henrik, I need you to heal. Thank you. That back one. Henrik! Come on, dude. Henrik! Why? Why, Henrik? You're killing me, Henrik. Fuck off, Ron, with your shit. Whoop! You aggressive little fuck. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, do your upside down shit. No. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Ran right into that. Oh, you are such a dick. Come here. Fucking stop this shit. No! Absolutely not. And she'll start to thrash around a little bit. Hey, you. Hey, oh, wait, that's fine. Yep, perfect. Asshole. Yep, just you and me, fucker. three times is what it takes to corner her ass. Come on. Eat shit, Rom. Kin cold blood. Ah, oh, finally. Over here, we see a woman. She appears to be in some sort of praying motion. Who are you? What are you doing here? A veil. Looks like the front of her dress is covered in blood. Yep, definitely covered in blood. From her stomach, it seems. She's in mourning, perhaps?
So what the fuck just happened? Uh, we hear a baby crying. The moon is extremely close now and it's red. And we actually got um, a note once that said, when the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. Hmm. 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 Shit's getting real. And we are here back again. Nightmare ritual. And we are back in Yargle Unseen Village. And these guys are buffed. And a bell ringing woman is buffing them. Uh, but Nightmare, I know you can see these Amygdala, lesser Amygdala statues. We need to be moving quickly because those guys will respawn. You can see these Amygdala assholes are hanging out everywhere. Turns out they've been here this entire time. And we're just now seeing them because we've broken... We've figured out the nightmare secret. We've broken the seal. So, uh, Rom was hiding the seal that revealed this to us. That is a pale blood sky. Holy shit. Uh, we are back in Yargal Unseen Village. This time for the main event. We have lesser amygdala all around us. We can faintly hear the cry of a baby. We also got a note once that said, uh, find the nightmare newborn and silence its harrowing cry. Oh man. Ritual secret re revealed. Find the newborn and silence its harrowing cry. Man, oh man. Um, we're actually going to go and check up on a bunch of NPCs because uh, this is the red moon hanging low and it changes it blurs the line between man and beast and it also triggers a bunch of changes in our world so we're gonna the next episode is gonna be a sort of uh, roundup episode where we speak with all our NPCs and then we'll jump right into Yargle Unseen Village which is a little bit of a pain but uh, thank you guys for joining me and putting up with Rom and I will see you next time